Dog Works Radio is sponsored by Alaska Dog Works. Check out their website at alaskadogworks.com. This episode of the podcast is brought to you by First Paw Coffee Company, specializing in private label premium blend coffee. If you're serious about coffee, you should check it out. First Paw Coffee's passion is high quality, small batch roasted coffee. They take the extra time to taste and get everything perfect before they release new blends. They aim to bring you a cup of happiness each time you pour yourself some coffee. Find out more at ak.dog slash free and enter for a chance to win some First Paw Coffee prizes, a book from our collection and tote bag. One winner will be selected at random each month. That's ak.dog slash free. Hello and welcome to Dog Works Radio. I am your host, Michelle Forto. I'm the lead trainer at Alaska Dog Works. On our last episode of Highly Intelligent Dog Breeds, we talked about the Siberian Husky, the Chessie, the German Short-Haired Pointer, Roddy, Bernie, and more. On today's show, we have a bunch more breeds and we find out which dog is the most intelligent. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> From First Paw Media, sponsored by Alaska Dog Works Professional Canine Training Center in Anchorage, Alaska. This is Dog Works Radio, committed to families and their dogs to build lifelong and fulfilling relationships. Visit our website at dogworksradio.com. Now, here are your hosts, Robert and Michelle Forto. This is such a fun show because I see different dog breeds every day in my work at Alaska Dog Works. I always wonder why a family picks one breed over the other. Is it looks? Is it activity level? Or is it intelligence? Today, we are going to round out the list of highly intelligent breeds here on the podcast. Australian Shepherd, one of the smartest of all dog breeds. The Australian Shepherd can learn almost anything when given the opportunity. They are eager to learn and love mental challenges. Just make it very clear that you are the one in charge. These guys tend to be domineering and stubborn if they can get away with it. Although Shepherds can vary in temperament, the Australian Shepherd tends to be a highly energetic yet faithful companion. They are playful and fun, but also have herding instincts, which means they will chase just about anything. With enough daily exercise and consistent mental stimulation, they make good family pets. St. Bernard. The Peter Pan films use a St. Bernard to portray Nana, the dog that cares for the children. Given their gentle, protective nature, the choice makes sense. Adult St. Bernards are calm, relaxed and docile. Some even describe them as clingy. They do well with families and have amazing patience with children. Although they aren't fast learners, St. Bernards will more than make up for it in eagerness to please. They are huge and not suited to agility courses, but they are quite receptive to basic commands such as sit and stay. He also needs plenty of exercise, or you'll have one hefty dog on your hands. Shiba Inu Some historians claim the Shiba Inu was bred and raised by ancient Japanese samurais, which could account for their high level of trainability and steady temperament. Although they can be strong-willed, Shibas are generally calm and quiet, and very easy to housebreak. His personality, however, may leave something to be desired. Shebas are fierce and spunky. Pair that with their tendency to be reserved and protective, and there could be some risk when they are around cats, other animals, and even small children, especially when food is involved. It could also be harder to find reasonable homeowners insurance policy if you have one of these dogs. English Setter there are two types of English setter, the field hunting type and the bench show type. They both tend to be mild-mannered, sociable, and highly intelligent, but their mellow personalities can make them seem unmotivated and even lazy. Fortunately, they are also food-motivated, and you can use that to your advantage. 
English setters require constant companionship. If left alone without a human or other animal, they will become destructive. Even though they are a sporting breed, their calm temperament makes them ideal for apartment living as long as they get enough daily exercise. Great Dane. Although he is absolutely massive, the Great Dane is also gentle and mild-mannered. If you start training at a young age, the process will be easy. Wait too long and you could have a giant problem on your hands. The Great Dane's large size can make him dangerous even when he doesn't mean to be, so proper manners are a must. It should go without saying that a Great Dane needs a lot of space, although he doesn't really require much exercise. He also needs a lot of company and you don't want him to become lonely. Because of his size, his destructive power is on a whole other level. Brittany Spaniel. With origins as a hunting dog, Brittany Spaniels are intelligent and relatively easy to train, but it requires a gentle hand. A harsh rebuke can completely destroy their spirit and leave them distrustful of you forever. Use a gentle touch and this breed will eagerly follow your every command. Like many intelligent breeds, Britneys require a lot of mental stimulation and companionship. If left alone too often, they will become hyperactive and destructive. In addition, they are known whiners and tend to dribble urine when they feel intimidated. So early socialization is a must to promote confidence. Australian Cattle Dog the strong-willed Australian cattle dog requires an owner who can take charge. In the right hands, this breed has an exceptional capacity to learn. With an experienced dog handler, the Australian cattle dog excels in the areas of tricks, obedience, agility routines, and, of course, herding. Without the proper training or the right amount of exercise, this dog is prone to nipping, chasing, and excessive barking. He is not an apartment dog and requires near constant physical activity. He's not crazy about strangers and can be pushy with other dogs, but he plays well with others given early socialization. These dogs are best in homes without children or other pets. We're going to take a short break here. So earlier you learned about First Paw Coffee Company, and now I'm gonna tell you about its tail wagger blend. First Paw Coffee Company's Tail Wagger Blend is their first offering, and its name and label were crowdsourced from their Facebook fans. How cool is that? The Tail Wagger Blend is a private label premium blend that was developed just for them. It is a medium roast from Colombian beans with tastes of Brazil nuts, grapefruit, and oak. Be sure to go to ak.dog slash free and enter to win a bunch of cool prizes. That's ak.dog slash free. Papillon. According to some sources, the Papillon is the most trainable of dog breeds, although housebreaking isn't necessarily his forte. When it comes to advanced tricks and problem-solving exercises, however, you won't find a better performer. Just remember to be firm because these little guys will boss you around given the chance. In addition to being smart, the Papillon is a lively, playful breed, inquisitive and independent in nature. They aren't particularly eager to hang out on your lap all day. One thing they do enjoy is looking out the window and barking at anything that moves, no matter how benign. Excessive barking is one thing you will need to nip in the bud quickly. Doberman Pinscher. The Doberman Pinscher is remarkably smart and easy to train, but he requires a firm hand or he can become very domineering. These dogs are loyal and amazing protectors in addition to being sensitive and eager to please. They are often used in police work, search and rescue missions, and as therapy dogs. As a large sporting breed, the Doberman requires at least a brisk daily walk. A run is preferable. Too little exercise can lead to restlessness and destructive behavior. Likewise, they need plenty of mental stimulation to stay happy. Most Doberman Pinchers are extremely territorial and protective of their families and require early socialization to avoid issues. Shetland Sheepdog The Shetland Sheepdog, or Sheltie, is an intelligent, responsive breed, although 
They are relatively easy to train. They don't do well with tension and loud noises. They also tend to be Velcro dogs that want to stick to their humans and not be left alone. That being said, Shelties are sensitive and sociable and get along with almost everyone they meet. The Sheltie is another herding dog and needs quite a bit of exercise, both physical and mental. They are not dogs that can just be let out in the backyard with nothing to do. Without an appropriate amount of mental stimulation, they will quickly become destructive. Golden Retriever Golden Retrievers are giant love bugs. It's impossible to meet one and not fall completely in love. Known for being sweet, devoted, and eager to please, they are highly intelligent and very fast learners. This is one of the few breeds that is easy to train, even for a novice dog owner. These dogs are lovable with everyone and make great family dogs, but not so great watch dogs. In fact, you probably won't have any luck explaining why he can't smother the burglar with kisses the way he does you. They require plenty of daily exercise, but can live in an apartment or small house as long as those needs are met. Labrador Retriever, the number one ranked AKC dog for many years running. The Labrador Retriever is a perennial favorite. They are fun, happy, a little goofy, and a lot of intelligence. With their smarts and their happy-go-lucky attitude, they are easy to train for pros and novices alike. Although they are generally easy to control, they do have a tendency to chew when bored. Without enough vigorous daily exercise, running, swimming, long hikes, the lab becomes rambunctious and not in a fun way. He will quickly and efficiently eat everything in your home, from kitchen chairs to wayward shoes. Still, most labs take everything in stride and make excellent family pets given the right care. German Shepherd. Coming in near the top of the list, the German Shepherd is one of the most intelligent of all dog breeds. Provided they are trained and socialized early, these dogs are naturally obedient as long as you treat them with firmness and respect. Always eager to please, they don't take kindly to heavy-handed treatment. German Shepherds are typically loyal, protective of their families, and good with children. The temperament of each dog can vary greatly, however, depending on his line. In some cases, the dogs are vigorous and intense, while others are hyperactive and skittish. They are complex, but brilliant. No wonder this dog has been near the top of the AKC's most popular list for so long. Poodle. Despite their fancy pants reputation, poodles aren't nearly as delicate as people make them out to be. In fact, they are rather sturdy and athletic, especially the larger standard variety. They are also highly intelligent and intuitive, making them naturals at obedience and agility competitions. Even better, they are pros at learning difficult tricks to impress family and friends. Poodles have long been a family favorite, both for their smarts and for their special coat. What's special about it? It's not normal dog fur. It's hair. This makes poodles an ideal companion for people who suffer from allergies, as well as those who just don't like dog fur all over their furniture. Border Collie. Coming in at number one, the Border Collie. You're really not going to find a dog any smarter than this family favorite. In fact, these dogs are so smart that they have been known to unlock gates and let themselves out. So much for that six-foot fence. They are highly trainable, but they can be difficult for newbies to handle. The Border Collie's high intelligence is offset by his fierce independent streak. He's known for being manipulative, and he senses even a tiny bit of weakness. He will absolutely own you with his charm and personality. If you're up for the mental challenge and have the energy to keep up with him, training and owning this dog can be a lot of fun. Is your dog on the list? If so, tell us about them on our social channels. Just search DogWorks Radio, and as always, check out alaskadogworks.com for more training tips and tricks. This episode of the podcast is sponsored by First Paw Coffee Company. 
Learn more at firstpaw.coffee. From First Paw Media, this is Dog Works Radio. We hope you enjoyed this podcast, and we invite you to subscribe in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. You'll find a link on the episode notes. You can tap or swipe on the episode cover art, and you'll see some offers from our sponsors. You can support our show by supporting them. If you like what you have heard, we would love it if you could give us a five-star rating and tell your friends how to subscribe, too. Your hosts are Robert and Michelle Forto. Our producer is Robert Forto and created for First Paw Media. Did you know that Alaska Dog Works trains service dogs for those in need throughout North America? Each and every service dog that is trained through the Lead Dog Service Dog Program and Michelle Forto and her team has an individual training plan. We train for autistic, mobility, psychiatric, and PTSD for our soldiers for service work. If you know of someone that may need a service dog, please take a moment and check out Alaska Dog Works on social media and at alaskadogworks.com.